Hi everyone, my name is Laszlo Bolander and I'm here at Triangle Wave Records, a humble recording studio set in Eagle Rock, California, which is a neighborhood in Los Angeles. Today I'd like to talk about how you can use the Korg Electrap 2 to sequence your external hardware synth via MIDI. So of course you will need the Korg Electrap 2 as well as a MIDI splitter. That is because there's only one MIDI out port on the back of the Electribe. However, it does send 16 channels of MIDI. A MIDI splitter will receive the MIDI messages and then split them to uh, different MIDI outports. I believe MIDI Solutions Quadra 3 model, which gives you four MIDI outports, retails for about 50 US dollars. I got mine for $20. I bought it used uh, from my good friend Ben, who uh, makes music with Desir. Thanks, man. I use that thing all the time. It was definitely worth the investment. So how about we take a quick look at how the Electribe can sequence a couple of my synthesizers as well as perhaps a drum machine that I own and hopefully make some cool music. Okay, today I have two synthesizers I'd like to work with. One is the MFB Synthlike 2 and the other one is the Arturia Mini Brute. They are both monophonic, however this uh, MFB Synthlite uh, has two oscillators so I can you know, tune another oscillator to a different note, but they all play one note at a time. So the first thing you want to do is set up your external hardware synth to receive MIDI messages from a specific MIDI channel. Uh, I set up my MFB Synth Lite 2 uh, on MIDI channel 5, and then the Archer Mini Brute is set up on MIDI channel 4. So as I said, the Korg Tribe sends 16 channels of MIDI through only one MIDI output. So I have this MIDI solution squadra through Splitter that essentially takes all the MIDI channels from the Electribe and then copies it uh, onto different MIDI outs. Here I have four MIDI outs, uh, which is more than I'll ever probably need. But I know MIDI Solutions makes rack-mounted uh, bigger MIDI splitters uh, like this one. Uh, except they'll have more MIDI outs. So one thing to note is that the Korg Electribe sends 16 channels of MIDI, but one per part. So the first part will be MIDI channel one, the second part will be MIDI channel two, the third part will be MIDI channel three, so on and so forth, up until 16. And this goes from top left to top right, and then bottom left to bottom right in ascending order. So this is why you need to set up your synthesizers uh, to receive only one MIDI channel. I know some synths might receive multiple MIDI channels if it's a multi-timbral synth. Uh, you know, you might want to make sure that the parts that you're programming or sequencing with the Electribe sends to the right synthesizers. So I like to keep it organized. I told myself the Mini Brute will always be bass lines. And it's always going to be on MIDI channel 4, so I'll program all of my bass lines on MIDI channel 4. And then the MFB Synth Light 2, I use for a little bit of everything. And most of the time it's for higher pitched sequences. And I told myself, all right, everything that I want to do with the MFB Synth Light 2 will be on MIDI channel 5. So here I have a little sequence that I made earlier that has different parts, both including the Electribe and the two synthesizers. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna play the Mini Brute first. So here, as I suspected, I also used the Electribe synth engine and the Archer Mini Brute to program this bass line that you heard. So. Let's assume that you don't want to use any of the Electribe sounds. What you can do is simply not use the audio out ports. Uh, then no one will hear what you do with the Electribe and the only sound that will come out is the sound from your synth, assuming they're plugged in, obviously. But let's say I want to still use some parts of the Electribe for, say, uh, you know, drum sequences or little percussions or little little things, little doodads that I want to add in my tracks. What you can do is you go on the part that you 
want to mute, so in this case it would be the Archer and Mini Brute channel, so MIDI channel 4, I want to not hear anything the Electribe does with that. So what I can do is, first of all, go on this level knob, turn it down to zero. Furthermore, we can also change the oscillator to 409, which is audio in. That means that it, it, it will only play the sound that is coming through the audio in uh, of the Electribe. But if I have nothing plugged in, then obviously nothing will come about. And furthermore, you can also stay on the low pass filter, just turn it down to zero. And then you can also change the uh, ADSR, put the attack at zero and the DK slash release at zero. And now if I play on the keyboard of the Electribe, Yeah, only here the Mini Brute, which is exactly what I wanted. Now what I like to do is layer the sounds of the Electribe with the, the external synthesizers that I have. You don't have to do that, and sometimes I don't do it. So for some tracks, I do this little level thing uh, so that only the Mini Brute is playing and so on and so forth. Let's listen to that sequence just with the Mini Brute now. Cool. So now that I only have the Mini Brute, I can see what I programmed with the MFB Synth Lite 2. Let's have a listen. That's right, I also used the Electribe for that sequence, so I'm going to do the same thing. Let's say I don't want to use the Electribe Synth Engine, I'm just going to put the level at zero, change the oscillator to audio in, by the way, you can reach that oscillator very fast by pressing shift and switching oscillators until you reach 409, which is the audio and uh, quote unquote oscillator. And just as a precaution, in case I move a knob by mistake, I'm also going to do that filter thing. Oh, I already did it. <laughs> and then now it's instinctual for me. I just do it and change the attack decay release to zero. Now, if I play on the keyboard, yep, let's have a better sound than that. Sounds great. Now, let's listen to that sequence. So now I want to hear that in context. I'm going to use the kick drum from the Electribe and the rest will just be the MFB Synth Lite and the Archer Mini Brutes. I'm going to add some uh, reverb on the MFB just because it sounded a little dry earlier. Uh, I got this Digitech Studio Twin, which is a rack mounted uh, reverb slash modulation and delay unit that I bought for $15, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, that included shipping and taxes. I don't know how I scored that, but uh, I did, and it sounds great. It was cheaper than a pedal, and you can't go wrong with Digitech stuff, to be frank. So for $15, it was definitely worth it. So I'm just going to add that right now. Okay, and let's hear it with a kick drum again from, from the synth engine of the Electribe. The rest is the MFB and the Archer Mini Brute. Awesome, I'm very satisfied with that. And that's literally just the Mini Brute and the Synth Lite 2, except for the kick drum. The kick drum came from the Electribe. So it can be a very good hybrid situation where you program the most important stuff to be used with your hardware sense. And then little elements can come from the Electribe. You can also double your external hardware synth with the synth engine of the Electribe. How about we take a listen to 
how it sounded with both the Mini Brute and the MFB layered with the Electribe sounds. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I like doing that actually. I like using the Electribe's uh, synth engine as well as my external synth. Um, but you see how it can work in a situation where you would have a lot of synth, but you don't want to have a sequencer for each of your synth. Even if they have their own sequencer, sometimes you would just want to be able to look at everything in one place, you know? And as much as I love computers, uh, Sometimes it's nice to have just a little piece of hardware that you can put your hands on and you're not relatively not staring at a screen even though there is a screen on the Electribe. But it, it is a lot more manual than, you know, using a keyboard and a mouse. And I like that, but I also like using computers. I'm not dissing any sides. So I think the Electribe is a cheap alternative to have literally 16 sequencers that are polyphonic, let's keep that in mind. You, you theoretically could, I'm sure, um, you know, use another channel to program chords that you send out to a polyphonic synth, you know, like a Korg Poly 800 or a Juno or even the more recently a, a Korg Minilog. Um, yeah, so you could do that as well, which I think is for the price point that the Electribe hits on, it's, it, it makes it a lot more interesting than just using the synth engine. However, the synth engine is great. I really like it. I, uh, I think it's, you know, the filters are relatively smooth for being digital. And I just like this unit, but it goes beyond my expectations knowing that I can program all this stuff from it. So I also want to mention that there is a limited amount of polyphony uh, on this unit and I have encountered some issues if I use too many parts and I haven't prioritized you know the Mini Brute or the MFB synth light for that matter uh, you might have some stops and starts that happen uh, because it's trying to pull all these extra voices that it doesn't have uh, so keep that in mind of course I'm not sure if when you use the audio in quote unquote oscillator, if it steals some of those uh, polyphonic voices that it has. The maximum is 24 notes. So keep in mind, you know, if you're programming a polyphonic synthesizer, you know, if in you're doing chords, uh, that takes a lot more voices, obviously, than just a one note uh, at a time sequence. So I'm also going to bring a drum machine so we can see how it plays with that. Okay, I brought my Nord drum, uh, which is a drum machine that I absolutely love. It sounds weirdly organic and digital at the same time. It, it's just a, quite an incredible drum synthesizer, I guess is what they call it, right? Um, and I want to program some things with the Electribe, but I want to use only the sounds of the Nord drum. I'm gonna set up the Nordrum to be affected by MIDI channel eight. So I'm putting it to channel eight. Let's see. Now I need to set up each sound to a MIDI note because sadly the Nordrum only receives one MIDI channel at a time, which means I can only program the Nordrum using one MIDI channel from the Electribe. So if I wanted to mute one sound at a time, it would be pretty hard, I would have to set the volume to zero on the sound that I want to mute because it only takes one MIDI channel at a time. And then each sound is attributed to a MIDI note. So what I want to do is first, I'm going to change the Electribe and put it to chromatic mode. That way I get access to all of the MIDI notes. There we go, scale, chromatic. I'm happy with that. And now, 
All right, so I do get access to these sounds that I have from the Nord drum now. But it kind of starts halfway in the middle. So let's see, I'm gonna change the mini note. And since this is on this pad and I want it on this pad, it's just gonna be one mini note over. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the same with every following sound. There we go. Now I want to program a sequence on the Alex Tribe to control the Nord drum. Let's see how that goes. Let me unmute that. Cool, I'm happy with that. Now let's make sure that this channel can play polyphonic notes. It, assuming I want to play, you know, two sounds or three or more from the Nordrum, then the Electribe will have to be in polyphonic mode for that channel. So I'm going to go in the menu. I'm going to go out on, uh, yeah, that's right, 19. And it is already in polyphonic mode. So I'm um, not going to change that. If you're trying to program drum machines that are on one MIDI channel, you got to make sure that the channel you're programming it on, the Electribe, is polyphonic. That way you can, you know, play that four to the floor kick and then you can add a snare on two and four. <laughs> now, one thing to note is I know in the master effects section of the Electribe, so there's obviously a bunch of delays and reverbs, but there are also some effects that are in fact MIDI effects, like the sequence reverse or the sequence doubler, the odd stepper and the even stepper. So those could be useful to sort of refresh or give you new ideas based on the sequence that you've already programmed. Let's test out that sequence reverse uh, effect. I'm going to mute that bass line that I programmed with the mini root, and we're just going to listen to the actual original sequence that I did for the Nord drum. OK, now I'm going to engage the master effect send on that channel. and. Put it to maximum, I suppose that's gonna do the trick. See how it is going backwards in each bar. All right, it sounds a little chaotic because it's just <laughs> a drum line, but you get the point. And you can do this, as I said, with the sequence doubler, odd stepper, even stepper. And I believe those are the only MIDI effects. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going to double check that. Pitch looper. Maybe the looper actually might. Uh, I guess it is not a MIDI effect. That's a bummer. So yeah, you can't do that stuttering thing uh, that you often hear in electronic music. With the looper, at least, you can't. OK, so now I just want to do a quick little jam so you get an idea of how it can work as a workflow. Also, I'm going to use both sounds from the Electribe as well as the MFB Synth Lite and the Mini Brute. I also have some pedals. Uh, that are connected to the headphones out of the mini brute. I uh, kind of use them as like a parallel processing method. So you'll you'll hear the clean sound of the mini brute as well as uh, the sound of the mini brute through a Vox Coltron uh, Bulldog distortion and uh, Arian stereo chorus 
that's the SCHZ model. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so you saw how I used the Mini Brutes filter to sort of build up, but I also used the Electribe to do some things. And I think it's really great that it does different channels per track or per part. And some people might complain about that, but I think it just lends itself to uh, control your other synth and work in conjunction with those synths. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it showed you the Electrab in a new light and I really think it shines not only as an instrument because the synth engine is very decent but also as a tool to control and sequence your other hardware synths. I think it's great that it has 16 MIDI channels separate on each part. Uh, they can do monophonic or polyphonic. It does four bars, you know, it does polyrhythm with the state length uh, that you can set up in the menu um, per part also I should mention it does all that per part which I think is great it's absolutely great please correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure you can't find a sequencer that has actually 16 tracks of sequences that does polyphony and polyrhythms per part there are other brands of sequencers but those are much more expensive and we live in hard times as you all know so so thank you for watching this video and see you next time